you students i hope uh, you are enjoying learning about the concept of rotational symmetry in mathematics using different activities and have you tried hands on activity on different uh, shapes okay i shared with you about an interactive applet also i hope you have tried experimenting on that applet okay so today what we would be doing is we would be further exploring the concept of rotational symmetry in regular polygons now you know that what is a polygon so a polygon is a shape which is formed by joining line segments and it has to be a closed shape we did one activity on uh, like uh, how to differentiate between a convex and a concave polygon i hope you have tried that as well so today we are going to look at the concept of rotational symmetry in uh, various regular polygons now you know that the process of uh, turning an object around a particular point is called uh, rotation and we have seen that when we rotate an object then the size and the shape of that object does not change right now the fixed point around which the object moves is called the center of uh, rotation now let us look into this uh, first shape which is given to be an equilateral triangle now you know that in an equilateral triangle there are three sides and uh, all the three sides are equal so what i am going to do is i am trying to rotate this uh, triangle around the center of this triangle so just to observe i am rotating it and you see it is moving in the anti clockwise direction and it has gone up to now 60 72 78 81 90 degrees crossing 90 114 now observe closely that when we rotate the equilateral triangle around this uh, angle 120 degrees it comes back to its original shape right so you see an equilateral triangle again here now let us see what happens if we keep on increasing this angle and just observe these see what happens when it comes to 240 degrees again you are getting an equilateral triangle the same uh, you know position okay so again i am trying to rotate it at an angle of 120 degrees so it completes now 360 degrees so you see that how many rotations were possible yes after every 120 degrees we see that we are we were getting that uh, equilateral triangle and uh, we see that uh, it is possible three times so we say that order of uh, rotation in an equilateral triangle is 3 so you have to remember like in an equilateral triangle so there are uh, three sides three vertices and we see that order of rotation is 3 and what is the angle of rotation for an equilateral triangle it is 120 degrees okay let us now do the exploration for this second shape which is square the so square is the second uh, regular polygon so i am just rotating this now i am rotating this in the clockwise direction and you need to tell me when it comes back to the original square position yes when it the angle turns to 90 degrees it comes to the original position so this is one one rotation of 90 degrees we call it as a uh, quarter turn also okay so let me move on further and go up to 180 degrees and see what happens yes we are getting a square again okay let me move on to 
270 degrees. Okay, we see a square back to its original position. Okay, let me see what happens at 360 degrees. Fantastic, we are getting the square back. So how many times the square was observed at its original position? It's four times. So order of uh, this uh, regular polygon that is square is order of rotation is four. And what is the angle of rotation? Angle is 90 degrees. Okay, let us see what happens in the case of uh, regular pentagon. So regular pentagon has five sides. So let us see whether it has, okay, this is moving in the anti-clockwise direction. Now observe closely what happens and at what angle. Okay, now see what happens at 72 degrees. You are getting uh, this regular pentagon. So I'm just moving this up to 360 degrees and you have to just tell me how many times you are getting the pentagon at the original position. So it is one time rotating again. This is now two times. This is now three times, four times, and continue on up to 360 degrees, five times. So you see, observe the pattern in triangle, it, the order of rotation, yes, it is three, and angle of rotation, 120 degrees. In uh, square, the order of rotation is four, Angle of rotation is 90 degrees and uh, you know that uh, here in case of pentagon, the order of rotation comes out to be 5. Okay, let us see what happens in a regular hexagon. You need to observe. It's moving in the anti-clockwise direction. 1, 2, 120 at 120 degrees you are again getting the hexagon regular hexagon then three it's at 180 degrees at 240 degrees four then at 300 degrees five and at 360 degrees wow so you see that uh, mathematics is a beautiful subject and when you visualize it, you understand the concept in a better manner. So with this applet, I hope the concept of uh, order of rotation, angle of rotation in regular polygons is clear to all of you. Enjoy learning and exploring mathematics. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.